And we're back on the Fowler Show. Um, this is a major, major development. A major study indicated that, you know, crack, that poverty is worse for kids than crack is. Um, now, this is pretty cool. The researcher conducted a study and found they studied student, they studied children who were born with parents who had crack exposure and then kids who were also born at that same time period for parents that did not have crack exposure but lived in impoverished or blighted communities. And what they found was that, you know, at age four, for instance, the average IQ of a crack exposed child was 79.0 and the average IQ of a non um, crack exposed child was 8. 81.9, which is, you know, give or take the margin of error in the margin of error. Both numbers are well below the average. Now, these are, for, now they, these are both poor students, so they both live impoverished, but one has crack, one doesn't have crack. But these are both well below the average of 109 for U.S. children of the same age group that are in, you know, middle class and working, middle class and upper class, com, upper class communities. Um, when it came to you know readiness at the age of six, about 25% of children in each group scored abnormal an abnormal range on the test for math, letters, and word recognition. But the upside is they found that children being raised in nurturing societies, whether they were impoverished or not, um, actually were doing a lot better. On the downside, they found that 81% of these children that they studied, the half with crack, the half with whose parents had crack use and the half whose parents didn't have crack use, had these same things in common. 81% of them. Um, have seen, uh, know, know someone that's been arrested, 74% of them have heard a gunshot, 35% of them have, so, know someone who got shot, 19% of them have seen a dead body outside, um, and these kids are only age seven. So their exposure to criminal, to crimin the, the, criminalized, the criminal, just, criminal justice system and to death and to violence is high, remarkably high, right? And though that, that, that you know, the fact that they are so high is the reason as to why these kids are doing poor, perform, are performing poorly. It has nothing to do with the fact that their parents happen to be, or happen to use crack cocaine, right? But those that reported high exposure to violence were also likely to have depression issues, anxiety issues, and low self-esteem. But the study concluded that we feel that poverty is a far greater risk to a child than their parents ingesting crack cocaine. This is the, the, the basically the summation or the solvency for this particular study or the conclusion of the study. Um, and the reason why this study is so important or the reason why this study sort of is groundbreaking is because what we've heard a lot from the political class is crack cocaine destroyed our community. Crack cocaine, if we can get like Ronald Reagan, if we can have this war on drugs, we'll solve all the nation's problems. That's just not true because what our nation, our, we don't, our, our nation doesn't have a problem with crack cocaine. Our nation has a problem with poverty. If we can fit, and but listen, they try to fix crack cocaine, the crack cocaine problem by creating these mandatory minimum sentences where it says if you have cocaine, if you just have regular cocaine, you only get five years. You have crack cocaine, you get 20 years. A 15 year disparity. That was gonna quote unquote solve our war, solve our war on drugs and fix our communities. That has not fixed our communities. They've actually torn our communities apart by putting our men and women in jails for longer periods of time than away from their children. But with that being said, the best way and the only way to solve the, both the crack cocaine problem as well as the fact that our, there's an achievement gap happening in the school system in inner cities is by fixing our poverty issue in this country. Let's try to solve poverty. There are bills out there that are trying to solve poverty. Why won't Republicans pick up the mantle and say, let's work together, let's create real bipartisan solutions to the poverty problem in this country. Let's equip people with jobs, job training programs. That's how we get out of recessions, folks. FDR taught us one thing. The best way to get out of a recession, I say this, I'm beating, I'm beating a dead horse, is investing in America's greatest resource, its people, whether they're rich, poor, or in the middle. Hey, Fowler Nation. Thanks to you, we have made our goal of 1,500 subscribers. You can check out our behind the scenes video in the description below this video. But now we need our next goal. We need to get to 2,000 subscribers and we can't do it without your help. So do me a favor, click that subscribe button. And when we get to 2,000 subscribers, we're gonna release a very special video with the Fowler Nation mascot, Larry the Cat.